Kirksville, Missouri, the Hawks were looking to bounce back from their Thursday night loss. And with one game left in their regular season, QU is hoping to get that win today. Their leader, Zion Richardson, though, was injured on the last play of Thursday's game and was unavailable today. And that was a recipe for disaster. Early on, the Hawks execute a beautiful pick and roll to Mason Wuek. He gets them on the board. He put up 13 points today. But QU seemed a step, a step too slow most of the game. Here, the Bulldogs push it to Xavier Hall. Truman State up quickly. Nate Shockey tried to bring QU back. Here he gets the three-pointer, but Quincy shot just 6 of 30 from behind the arc in this game. Truman State was killing it, though. Watch this three-point madness. First, it was Trey Shearer. Then it was Brian Lovett. Then Shearer again. He had six threes, and the Bulldogs made 18 as a team. That's the second highest total in school history. QU never rallied back, though. They're going to fall on this one, 94 to 55. The Hawks end their season at home next Saturday against Illinois Springfield. The women were hoping to finish their first year under their new head coach, Courtney Boyd, off strong. Their first and third quarter state were great. This basket from Carson Stratton helped QU rally back. They scored 29 points in the first quarter. Michaela Huffine will knock down that three to put Quincy up by five. But Truman State scored 10 in a row and took the early lead. Here is Samaya Williams with the basket. That game was tied up at 77, but in the fourth quarter, Quincy put 30 on the board, and that helped them win this game 92 to 80. On the road. And Macomb, WIU was looking to bounce back from a double overtime loss on Thursday. And today it was another close one. They led 35 to 33 going into the half. And if you think that's a close game, well, we're just getting started. There's Allie Meadows from behind the arc. She's going to sink this three. Leathernecks down by two in the fourth quarter. And how about Regan McCowan? This girl is a straight up baller. That shot brought the game tied at 68. I always say a baller is going to ball, and McCowan will ball. She takes this up to the key, pulls up, and finishes with a nice little jumper. Regan dropped 45 points tonight. Yeah, you heard me right, 45 points. Neither team gave up the fight, so strap in, because we're going into another overtime game in Macomb. We're going to keep talking about her. Regan McCown, waiting for her time to strike, gets around her defender, and then just fights for the bucket. WIU leads by one, but it wasn't enough to hold on to the lead. They fall in another overtime game, 96-89. to The women have two games left in the season before they enter the OVC tournament March 6th. Our last stop, the men were up next. They take on the University of Southern Indiana. And Josiah West will kick things off by snagging the tray ball for the Leathernecks. A few plays later, and West will do it again. But this time, from the paint, he led the team with 18 points today. WIU with the early lead. They dish the rock to Drew Cease. He pump fakes and takes it to the rack. Misses the first shot, but gets the rebound and the putback. Talk about a hustler. Looking to build on their lead, WIU sets up a play for Quinlan Bennett, and he knocks down the fader for two. More from Drew Cease. Watch him body his defender, get around him, and sink the pair. He made that one look all too easy. The home team will get the job done today, defeating Southern Indiana 82-75. to WIU will be back in action next Thursday against Eastern Illinois University.